NFL draft is today, April 25th, 2024. This is about the 1965 AFL, American Football League draft. I'm uh, puzzled about something. I haven't found the complete answer, but I am making a surmise now. The overall number one draft choice by the New York Jets was Joe Namath, quarterback out of Alabama. <clears throat> Let's see here, number two was Houston Oilers. And number four, Jet, also Jets from Denver Broncos. Broncos did not have a first round draft pick. So, what's uh, puzzling to me? This is from the book Namath, a biography. Um, talking about Jerry Rome, who uh, had led the led the major colleges in passing, and the Jets were thinking about signing him, and. Uh, Sonny Werblin, the Jets' primary owner at the time, had decided not to. This is not the guy I need, Sonny muttered. Rome's rights were traded to Houston for the second pick in the draft. But somehow, that second pick became first. And Houston, somehow, still had the second pick. Now, uh, this is 1964 Denver Broncos roster. And there's quarterbacks Jackie Lee and Mickey Slaughter. If you click on Jackie Lee... See that uh, 1964, he was the first and only player ever to be lend lease to another team. He was loaned to the Broncos <clears throat> and returned to the Oilers two years later. While in Denver, Leaf threw for 370 yards. in one half against the Raiders. Lee was one of only 20 men who played in each of the 10 years of the AFL's existence. Here is the um, Pro Football Reference 1965 AFL Draft. And it also shows Namath, first round draft pick by the New York Jets, Houston second. Fourth, also Jets. Now, if you look at the um, 64 record, the Broncos had the worst record, so you'd think they'd have the first draft pick. And Houston had the second worst record. But uh, <coughs> um, I still don't, I, I haven't found anything here in the World Wide Web or my football books. Um, why the Jets ended up with the number one pick. So... Um, feel free if someone knows the sequence. Now, I will also tell a little bit um, about what happened.
And there's quite a bit about Sonny Warblin in the Namath biography here. And um, Sonny Warblin had been a incredibly successful entertainment agent. And when he um, bought the Jets, actually I think when he bought them, they were the Titans as part of his uh, experience in entertainment, he renamed them the Jets and uh, said, we need a star. All right, now I don't have the book, or at least I can't find it, that tells his story. But uh, after he's got the Jets, they're renamed the Jets, he goes to a Jets game and... Um, He's going to make the Jets quarterback, Wood, the richest uh, player in pro football. He said, we need a star, and if you're the highest paid player, you're suddenly going to be a star. And so Warblin goes into the stands, and he listens to what people were saying about Wood, and... <coughs> Wood doesn't have a very good game. And then he goes and, and meets quarterback Wood. And he says, this isn't my guy. So uh, he drafted Jerry Rome. And he said, kid, kid, set all the passing records in the world. It wasn't going to work. Not here. This is not the said Rome was not a star. So he asked who who was the best uh, quarterback and uh, that he could get and who was a star. And there, Al Davis said, it, you know, it's Joe Namath. Everybody said it was Joe Namath. There are critics today that don't understand how good Namath was in college and in pros, if his knees hadn't been hurt, uh, uh, he'd be even uh, have better records, undoubtedly. But the um, he did win a Super Bowl in his fourth season, and uh, had a first had a great first five years in pro football. So, uh, anyway, Sonny Werblin said, it, you know, the NFL is show business. The Jets, the Browns, as far as I know, all the NFL teams were incorporated as uh, being in the entertainment business. And uh, nothing at all unusual about that. Then and now, pro football's entertainment. They don't produce anything else. And sometimes they don't even produce entertainment. But um, Joe thought it was football, but he was becoming an entertainer, and uh, Werblin and his team brought Joe along, and he had a full career in entertainment. Television, movies, speaking. That's what most of these... Uh, you know, pro football guys do. Manning, still in entertainment. Um, others did things with their lives. Curtis McClinton. Uh, anyway, the um, Namath was the overall number one draft choice in the American Football League draft. The uh, overall NFL was Tucker Fredrickson by the Giants, who really wanted Namath, but uh, they didn't think uh, he, he would play for them. There's a long story there. The uh, Cardinals drafted Namath, but uh, it was believed they were going to trade him to the Giants if the price was right. 
but Sonny Werblin uh, offered more than twice as much as the Cardinals offered, so Giants gave up on that. And uh, so uh, Alabama Joe became Broadway Joe. And somehow he became the number one pick in the, uh, the Jets somehow had the number one pick. I presume they they got it from we know they got uh, Houston right here. Second pick in the draft. Somehow that became number one. If anyone knows, feel free to tell me. <laughs>